Hey everybody, this is Mike. I'm back with another game of craps. I'm going to do my Texas two-step system. Uh, I'm just going to play it, and uh, I'll try to explain some things as I run across them. Hopefully, I'll encounter some scenarios that I'll tell you why I do them for the uh, best results, best possible results. You can always get... Uh, you, know, you can always lose a bet anyway. So I do one bet on the pass line and get a five. I bet on the come line and I get a five just paid off. Okay. Now I, what happened is I won on the come line because 7-Eleven wins on on a new roll on the pass line and on a new roll on the come line. So the come line was protecting the pass line. The pass line gave me a bet number of five, and I bet the same amount on the come line, and it protected my uh, five uh, bet, the bet on the five, which it did a good job. So, uh, so it's just a wash. If you look at my account there, it's 724, uh, and uh, I'm gonna do another roll here. And got the five again, another come, uh, another come bet. This $5 on the come protects, his, it protects the pass line from a seven. You only get it once. And now, now we're hung out to dry, so we've got two bets out there. Uh, you can't take them back. Once you put the money on, down on the table and it gets a number, that money belongs to the casino unless you win it back. Let's try to win it back. Okay, I got a 12. Okay, I uh, avoided that by one roll. Another 12. The 2, 3, and 12 were the uh, killers of this method. And here's a, a 10. I'm surprised I didn't already get a number on the 10. Uh, another craps. Two, this is 3, 1, 2, and 3. And look at that. There's a yo 11. That's a good roll for us. And there's the eight, so I just won the eight. Okay, so now what I do, that was a come bet, so I now I'll go to 10 units on the come bet. And now the 10 units on the come bet is protecting the five units on the pass line. Plus I'm parlaying the, uh, my winnings, so let's just play it. Okay, went to the 10, I mean the four, yeah. How common is that on pass line and come bets? It's either craps, four, ten, or seven. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. There's an eight. Did nothing for us. Or again, it's, hey, I got the four. That's awesome. So now I go to $15 on the come. So I'm parlaying half of my winnings. Okay. And that 15, uh, I got paid on it. I lost the $5 pass line. But uh, what that did is uh, increased me up a little bit more. So um, I'm at 749 now. So let's do one on the pass line. Okay, so I'm predicting. Uh, let me see if I can predict this. Four, ten, seven are craps. Eight. <laughs> My prediction is not very good. Try another one. Five. Okay, now we got two numbers out there. They're five dollars each. So we're just going to stay with the five dollars. And we've got seven out on the third roll. Uh, Sometimes you can get two or three of those in a row. So, but my bet was down at around ten dollars. 
So I just won $7 on the pass line. Now I am going to go ahead and parlay that to $10 on the pass line. A lot of times you get two or three sevens in a row. Now I'm still at, uh, I was $5 on the come line, but you never bet less than what you already got a number. So I got $10 right in on the five on the pass line. So I have to do a minimum of $10 on the come line. I don't know if you can see this, but this app is really cool. To me, I see that $10 in, on the come as in three dimensions. So it's pretty cool look, looking graphics he's done with this. Okay, so I'm gonna roll a 10. So now the 10 is covering the five on the pass line. See what happens. Ah, I want a yo. Check it out. That's a good roll there. So now I'm up a little bit. So I'm going to give that 10 another $5. That's half that 10. You do 50% if you can from here on out. Okay, so I'm going to roll. Now this will be a craps roll. Watch you see. Oh, no, got an 8. Okay, so now i got $25 out there. Hopefully I'll win it back. And seven out, so I lost it. So I'm down to seven four seven twenty nine now. But one thing you'll notice is we don't have wild fluctuations in our chip stack with this method either. And you're not putting a whole lot of risk out there. Uh, so I got the six and eight. Now you see these. Uh, all smalls and all talls. I'm going to load those up before I, I hit a six or an eight. You watch. Nine. Nine again. Four. And nine again. And five. I'm loading up those smalls and talls. Six, hey, I actually won one. That was a come bet, so I go to two units on the come bet. Now, if I get a seven here, that's good for me. A six, uh, six is loaded out there again. There's the eight. I check it out. I added five dollars to the eight. It's an equal size to the come bet. Seven out. Okay, I won that one. I'm still at 729. If I took this ten dollars off there on the pass line, I'm at seven thirty nine. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm kind of running in place until you get a good run, uh, winning streak. Is what you're basically doing. So we got the five, and I got a yo on that five. So I'm gonna add five dollars to that. Why am I not adding half? Well, because you can't divide five. By by two very easily, so you just go with that. Now I can divide 10 by two, so I just won $10, so I take half of that, add it to my bet, and we'll do another one. And seven out, so the seven, now look at my chip stack. It's 764, yeah, but I'm not counting my chickens because that can go away pretty quickly. I'm waiting for a really good roll. There's a 10 on a come, on a come out roll. And then the come bet will go to a four. Boop, boop, nope, it went to an eight. Okay, I'm hung out there with $10 on the line there at risk. No big deal. Hey, I actually won that 10, so I'm gonna give that another $5 to protect it. 12, there's my Nemesis in the craps game. Now you just ignore that loss. You don't go back to five. You do that $10 again. Okay. Six. Now I got six and eight out there. So I got that $12 I lost. Got it right back. So I now add half of that 10. $5. Got that six came out again. And six won again. Come on, six. I like it. Adding $5, bringing it up to 20. 
Okay. Uh, you can't divide 15 very easily, so I just go with five. And there's my nemesis again, so I'm back with 20. There's 10 again. I don't know what it is about pass line rolls in the four and 10. Ooh, so down to 739. Remember I said don't hold your breath. Don't count your chickens, because that can go away pretty quickly. That's all right, that was considered a bad roll. I go back to $5. Got a pass, pass line come out roll of a seven. Seven paid $5. I'll take that and I parlay that. A lot of times you can get four or five sevens in a row. And there's a pass line four. How come is that now here? Let me show you. I got $10 on the pass line. You don't do $5 on the come. You use $10. $10 on the come. You have to be of equal size as a working bet. Okay. And that's why right there, that is the whole thing right there. That's the trick to this game. But what happened to my chip stack? Went up to 744. How'd that happen? <laughs> okay. So, so let's do another $5. And a seven on the come out roll. So we'll take that, we'll parlay it. And we got four again. <laughs> now I have to do 10 on the come. How uh, common is that? Four and five. Whoa. -ho. Six. We're gonna load up them smalls and talls, maybe. Better off just getting a seven, getting it over with. There's the yo 11. Another eight. There's the seven. Okay, I'm down to 729. So, I, you know, like I say, you're just kind of running in place for a little while, but you're going to get a good roll here. Oh, this is the drawback to this app, but it doesn't last very long. You skip video, and X on out of there. Six, I got the six. And the six paid. How about that? So I go ten dollars on the pass line. Seven. So I kept that six, made another five, and if I took that ten dollars off, I'm at seven thirty-nine. So still running in place. There's nine. Five dollars on that nine. Six. So I got two numbers. Woo hoo. -hoo. I got two good numbers, six and nine. I like nine because it seems to hit a lot. Okay, come on. There's seven out. Now I'm back down to 729. You can go down as much as 100 bucks, then all of a sudden you're making 300. Okay. Okay, I got two numbers hung out there to dry. Yo, 11 came a roll too late. There's a niner, niner. Miss that. Two. Five. I got to five. I'm going to go to t $10 now. On the come bet. Eight. Eight. Perfect. Bring that up to $10. Eight again. I go to 15 on the come bet. Come on, come back. Oh, there's my nemesis. Two, 15 again. You just ignore the crap rolls. Come on, I need that nine, nine, oh, six. I need a nine, nine, or nine, or nine, or six again. Nine, or nine, or come on, nine, or eight. Okay, eight goes to 15. Eight again. Nine or nine or, come on, nine or six again. Nine or nine or eight again. All right. So I'm going to go to, can't, you know, dividing 15 by two is 750. 
You can go to seven if you wanted. I'd just go with another five for right now. A couple of reasons. If you look at the smalls, they've all been played. The tall has got two numbers. So like the 12 and 10. So I expect this roll to be a 10 or 12. Niner, niner, got that niner. Okay, so I'm at 20. So that was a $15 win. So I, I'm going to 20 here too. 20, seven, seven out would be a four. Uh, no, not the four. Three craps, missed that by a roll. Got the four right back. Okay, so half a 20 is $10. So, so my next bet is 30. So there's 25, 30. Hey. And I'm at, now I go to 30 on the pass line. Okay. So I got that 10 and 12 I'm sitting out there. Haven't rolled them yet. Six. I'm at 754 up there with cash. That $60 I got working out there is not my money unless I win it. <laughs> I expect a seven any time now. Ooh, check it out. Now I go to 45 on that roll. One, two, three, 45. Half of 30 is 15. You add it to there. My chip stack is 769. Nine. Got it. Now my chip stack's 829. So my next bet's 45 here, too. 45 on the come line. Ooh, check that out. Tip stack's eight twenty nine. Fifteen dollars more to the pass line. It's too hard to divide forty five by two. I guess I could do, add twenty, but I I like I like going taking it to sixty. Okay. Eight. Ooh, I got a hundred and sitting out there. Hundred dollars working, working a hundred dollars. Nine, what? This is the roll you're looking for. So I'm going to 60 on the come. $60 on the come. Oh, there was my nemesis right there. Uh, craps rolls, 60. I'll get another craps roll, you watch. Oh, no, eight, got it at 60 right back. Now, here's where you can take it to 90 if you wanted. Or you could stop right here and just let those 260s work, which I've got to do. Because there's the 7 right there. Boom, boom. If I'd taken it to 90, I would have won 90. If I take that 60 off, I'm at 964. So there you go. That's a... Uh, that's my Texas two-step system how to, and how it works. Uh, I may or may not have covered some of the scenarios there, um, but uh, hopefully you're catching on to my Texas two-step system. It's a very safe, uh, efficient, and effective way to play craps without getting way underwater and uh, you, you do a lot of marching in place and then all of a sudden here comes the good roll just like that okay so that's gonna be it for right now uh second video today that's two in a row i just wanted to uh, cover any other uh scenarios i might run into in this uh, texas two-step system so Y'all check it out. Enjoy it. Hey, be sure you like and subscribe for me. Thank you. Bye-bye.